what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Body Bags. It's week 232, and I'm your Sunday host, DBougie86, here again to give you that Sunday review, guys. Yes. Now, the film that I got for you guys today is a film that was originally released in 2015, but it didn't make our way to the U.S. Uh, until it was released on Shutter through uh, their exclusive services uh, for VOD release reasons. And this one's one that I wanted to check out, but I don't have Shutter, So I picked up the German uh, release of this film. And that, of course, is titled The Nightmare or Dar Nachmar. As you see from the title of this one right here, that uh, this is the German release of it. Uh, pretty much the gist of Dar Nachmar or The Nightmare is is uh, the main plot is we're introduced to our main character of Tina, who's a young 17-year-old girl who, as we first meet her, she's actually going to, like, this big, like, party. And, like, like the way I would describe this party, it's like a rave outside of, like, at a pool house. That's the way I would describe it. Uh, and uh, as we meet her, uh, she has, like, we can get to know her a little more. She has two main friends. And uh, she likes this guy, but it kind of seems like they don't, it's a very shy relationship, that type of deal. So then we're introduced to Tina's other things that's going on within her life. Uh, it seems like her parents are very distant to herself. And we see also that she goes to a psychiatrist. But after this, she starts seeing these sightings of this weird little like creature thing. The way I would describe it, it kind of looks like Dobby from Harry Potter. That's the way it kind of looks like to me. But uh, pretty much what ends up happening is uh, she ends up seeing this thing, but no one else sees it at first. And then what ends up happening is the things that we find out about it is this is actually like her fear that has manifested itself into a physical thing. So the way that uh, the psychiatrist says to her, you have to face your fear and bond with it. So she ends up doing that. And then that's when shit really hits the fan and shit goes a wire from there. That's pretty much the gist of the plot where I'm going to leave off with this one. So my thoughts on the film. Uh, if you have epilepsy, don't watch this movie because there's tons of like strobe light scenes. And especially during the, like the party sequences, you'll get a seizure from watching this movie. Even I was, like, getting, like, whoa, like, watching it with, like, certain aspects of the things that are going on within the film. So, with that being said, uh, I loved it. It's a very mystifying movie viewing experience with uh, great imagery. And, like I said, even though, like, the strobe lights were, like, boom, boom in your face, it's beautifully shot in the imagery cultivates you uh the main performance by the main girl who plays tina is tremendous uh her interaction with like this little thing with uh this little creature is uh very interesting i have to say especially the way that she interacts with this creature and uh it's just funny this is the creature in general is what makes this movie really good is just the way that it interacts with like other characters and the way that it's in scenes, you know what I mean? But, yeah, this the other, like, the psychological aspect of is she really seeing this or is it all in her mind, that type of deal. It all goes well within to the ending of the film, which has a hidden meaning, which I think could might you might have to rewatch to really get, but I did get the gist of what was going on with the film. So, if I had to rate Der Nightmare... I'm going to give it a solid, like, a 9 out of 10. Like I said, there's a few, like, things, like, on rewatch that I might, like, interact in. Plus those strobe and lights, man. It, it was even driving me a little crazy. They kind of, like, a little overdone in a few scenes. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about it. You know, I don't want to, this is kind of, like, a hard film to talk about. Because you don't want to spoil too much within it. But, uh, yeah, 9 out of 10. So that's it for this week on Body Bags, guys. I know my voice is like not as usual self still, but I still wanted to do a review for you guys. 
And as always, I hope next week it's a little better. And at least I'm not like doing like that weird like <laughs> noises and shit, you know, like I was doing last week. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. And as always, I'll see you next week, guys. Peace out.